Kia ora, I'm David Chaston with 90 at 9, brought to you by interest.co.nz. This week at everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock, with news the US economy is powering a global expansion, covering a weakening Chinese economy. But first up, the overnight dairy auction was a good one. Prices rose another 4.2% and are now up 5.4% since the start of the year and up 3.3% above year-ago levels, the largest year-on-year rise since July 2022. In New Zealand dollars, the rise was 5.4%. Whole milk powder price was up 3.4%. Skim milk powder was up 4.6%. But the most encouraging signals are from the food service commodities, like cheddar cheese up 6.3% and butter up 10.3%. This is the ninth good rise in the past 12 auctions. So analysts will be reaching for their calculators on this one to look for a possible raising of their farm gate milk payout price forecasts. Elsewhere, the weekly monitoring of American retail sales at bricks and mortar stores revealed a strong rise last week, up more than 6% from a year ago, showing excellent above inflation growth. It is an impressive signal that their first quarter 2024 is developing positively for them. And American household debt is also rising, and although it hit a new record high, the rise was a modest $212 billion in the fourth quarter from the third quarter. That's up to 17 and a half trillion US dollars. The ISM services PMI in the US jumped much more than expected, continuing the strong data that we've had in 2024. It validates the strong labor market data we've had recently. The result was led by a healthy jump in both new orders and the level of order backlogs. In China, it is clear that Beijing is rattled by their economic stutter. Markets are betting big that some major short-term stimulus is about to be announced. It is also backed up by announcements that the home team financial industry will be big buyers in stock markets, a manipulation that will benefit traders and give them a profitable lifeline to quit markets. EU retail sales volumes declined in December from November, and rather sharply too. That puts them down about about the same year on year. But they are getting an unexpected boost from a rise in German factory orders in December, boosted by orders for major capital equipment. It was an impressive turnaround from November and recorded a creditable 2.7% gain in real terms from a year ago. Across the ditch, the Aussie Central Bank held its policy rate in its Tuesday review. This was as expected. Perhaps the only observation worth noting is that they didn't wholeheartedly signal that they're done raising rates something markets were perhaps expecting. They are still looking for reassurance that recent trends are sustained. The US Treasury 10-year yield starts today at 4.09% and up five basis points from Monday. And the price of gold will start today down $3 at $2,037 an ounce. However, oil prices are up a dollar at just on $73.50 a barrel in the US, while the international bread price is just over $78.50 a barrel. And the Kiwi dollar starts today at just on 60.7 US cents and, and holding its lower Monday level. Against the Aussie, we're still at 93.2 Australian cents. Against the Euro, we open at 56.5 Euro cents in a small gain. That all means our trade weight index starts today at just on 70 and up 10 basis points from Monday. You can get more news affecting the economy in New Zealand from interest.co.nz. Kia ora, I'm David Chaston, and we'll do this again.